Никитос тоже на связи! Никитос на связи! This is a Russian soldier's personal chronicle of the invasion of Ukraine. On March 6th, 25-year-old Anatoly Dryomov started a video blog on his Telegram social media channel. It offers an intimate and sometimes disturbing view of life on the front lines. <laughs> Dryomov posted dozens of videos from March 7th to March 15th as Russian troops advanced on the city of Popasna in Ukraine's eastern Luhansk region. They faced stiff Ukrainian resistance. <laughs> Dryamov was hit by shrapnel in his legs, but apparently recovered and returned to the front line. Before the war, Dryamov's social media pages were full of youthful photos from a more innocent time. Images of trips, parties, and friends have been replaced with videos of looted Ukrainian homes. And with video of survival in icy trenches. <laughs> Dryamov's Telegram channel, called God is with us, has more than 35,000 subscribers, including Olga from the Siberian city of Novokuznetsk. But there is also outrage from Ukrainian subscribers, especially on Dryomov's Instagram page, which is banned in Russia. They post comments like Burn in Hell, Save Ukraine, and the number 200, which is the Russian military code for a soldier who's been killed. Human rights groups are also monitoring social media posts by Russian soldiers. They look for evidence of possible war crimes, like those found in the Ukrainian towns of Bucha and Urpin. Civilians have been found dead with their hands tied behind their backs, and mass graves have been uncovered. But there are no such images on Dryomov's Telegram channel. Видео военных преступлений, они не появляются по чьей... просто так, по чьей-то воле. Они иногда сливаются как-то случайно или через тех, кто с этим не согласен, но а, это мы наблюдаем реже. Я думаю, здесь даже более важно именно оперативный момент таких видео. То есть очень часто, если, допустим, все-таки военные засветят свою позицию, Dryomov was still posting messages on April 21st, saying he needed three teeth removed. But in the last weeks, his Telegram channel has been more quiet, with shorter text comments like, I'm alive.